the easiest way to separate yourself from the competition as a defender is having elite stick skills. A majority of defenders overlook the stick skill side of the game, thinking they can compensate by just being a good cover guy. Having a strong right and left hand, along with being skilled at ground balls, sets you apart from the competition in the rest of the field. With the shot clock being implemented at college and other levels of play, being able to play transitional lacrosse has become so important. Poles that can stretch the field and are comfortable on the offensive side of the field have become so valuable and are sought out by scouts. To get better, you need a consistent wall ball routine, and I'm going to give that to you today. I have five different variations, but feel free to add your own. I have some unique ones at the end of the video. First, starting out with the basics, we have 75 right and 75 left. Keep in mind you can adjust with how many reps for each. Focus on keeping soft hands and not cradling. At the highest levels, you can't snatch the ball anymore. The best players have the softest hands and cradle the least. Next, 75 splits. As a pole, it's so crucial being able to catch and quickly split to another hand. Being able to transition hand to hand efficiently opens a whole new set of ways to clear the ball. Focus on feeling the ball hitting your stick and immediately transferring it over to the other hand. The motion of the transfer softens the catch, allowing for minimal cradles. Now let's phase out of the basic wall drills and into more defense specific. Following splits, you should go 50 over the shoulders, 25 each hand. This is one of the most crucial skills as a defender. When you break out for a clear, your goalie is going to throw the ball into space and you have to catch it over your shoulder in stride. One missed catch in this position can shift the momentum of an entire game. For this drill, throw the ball across your body and catch it over the shoulder. Here I'm not moving very much, but you can make it more game realistic by throwing the ball harder at the wall and breaking into a run to catch it. Long passing, 50. The other essential aspect to clearing is long passing. As a pole, you need to be able to throw over passes in order to clear the ball, and you need to be able to hit outlet passes of streaking middies up the field. Many players think you can't practice this by yourself, but the wall is one of the best ways to get better. Get as far away from the wall as you feel fit for the aspect of your game you're working on. Next, choose a spot on the wall and try to hit it with every pass. You're going to be moving during a majority of your passes, so practice dodging around like I am doing and see how accurate you can be. This will work on your dodging and your long passes. Feel free to throw in fakes, toe drags, rolls, or whatever you want. Ground balls, 25 each hand. Ground balls are arguably the most important part of a lacrosse game. While there many ways to practice them, this is the best drill for the wall. By throwing at the bottom of the wall and having it shoot back at you at high speeds, replicates when a missed pass comes over the midline and you have to scoop it up. It also works on an efficient scoop, and I find when I do this drill a lot, it becomes easy to pick up more stagnant ball in the game. I plan on doing a whole video on ground balls another time. A little bonus to end with your session is some creative tosses and just have fun. While you probably never use stuff like this in a game, it gives you confidence when you have a stick in your hand and it keeps everything fun to do. Whatever you do, keeping a consistent routine is key. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.